Good evening. I'm Terry Blankert, and this is Scary Story Theater. Tonight, we must step back through the pages of history to a time and place with a student no older or younger than you or I. Many students who went to college have great hopes for their experience. Mary Jane Lenore was no different. But soon her friends turn against her and she finds herself deep in depression, a situation many can find themselves in. Sit back and I will tell you a tale, the tale of Lenore. <laughs> Once on a sunny day in the middle of August, a young woman walked onto the campus of her new college it's wonderful, she sighed to her parents as she noticed the pleasant atmosphere. That day, Mary was moving into the dorm, which would be her home for the next few months. Her two roommates were Jen and Rachel. The two girls had known each other since grade school, so they were not too fond of having another roommate. <laughs> when Mary met them, she was overjoyed to have roommates. She started talking to them about the late night talks and the girls only sleepovers which they would have. Jen and Rachel rolled their eyes as they thought, this girl is so lame, she'll never party with us or have any fun. Mary was hardly ever seen around the dorm without her cat, Ebony. But the two other girls hated the cat. It was always having little accidents on Rachel's carpet. As the weeks progressed, Mary started to grow on her roommate's nerves. She would always throw away their beer and cigarettes. If their friends called, she would lecture them on their sinful lives. During the next few weeks, Mary began to seclude herself from her very few friends. So she spent most of her time in the dorm room. Rachel and Jen needed something to make Mary leave. They tried soaking her mattress with water, but she figured that it was the girls next door. Next, they tried duct taping her to her bed, but to no avail, she was able to ease her way out of it. They even tried putting green hair color in her hairspray, but she liked the new look. Finally, they thought, what if we kill her cat? Jen thought it was a good idea, but Rachel loved animals too much. She would not allow Jen to kill the innocent creature, so they decided to pretend to kill the cat in front of her. That night, Jen tied a noose around the cat's neck. They were going to attach the rope to the window and let the cat hang from a noose. The cat remained there alive for many hours. Mary had just come home from a long, lonely walk when she came home to see her cat struggling in a noose, hanging from the window of her dorm. All of a sudden, Ebony came hurtling down onto the rocks below. The fall broke the cat's neck. Mary looked down at the lifeless animal, which lay before her, and she drug it off as she kept walking. Mary didn't return home that night. A few days later, a janitor was up in the attic, attempting to repair a leak in the roof. When he turned on his light in the attic, he cried out as he saw the horrific sight of the corpse of Mary Jane Lenore, hanging from the ceiling, cradling a black cat in her arms. As the light reflected off the cat's eyes, it sprang out onto the janitor and clawed his eyes out. <laughs> the blood spurt from his eye sockets as he lay there, bleeding to death on the hardwood floor. Lenore and her cat still haunt the halls of Bethany Lutheran College to this day. And if you girls listen, you might just still hear her walking in the attic as she drags her cat Ebony behind her on the noose from which it was hung. It appears that we have come to the end of our story. Many questions have arisen over the years about the origin of the story. Is it true? Or was Lenore merely a figment of one student's twisted imagination? There is no record of a Lenore ever being a student on this campus, but many girls claim to this day that they still hear Lenore at night haunting the fifth floor of Anderson Hall, dragging her cat's lifeless body behind her. Truth or fiction, we may never know. 
Enjoy your Halloween. Good night. Thank <laughs> you. 